Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Skyrim Special Edition. My name's Camel, and today we have the guide for the rather unique two-handed warhammer named the Champion's Cudgel. A brutal, crushing machine and part of Imperial Weapons history. And speaking of champions, Fudge Buppet have just released their new Centurion build that on vicious occasion will wield this very weapon, the Champion's Cudgel. I couldn't more highly recommend you check out their channel along with their new Centurion build. Links to both can be found in the description. Give them a year boy from me. But for now, let's get in there and find this boy. Oh, and if you're on the standard Skyrim edition, you will need the Dragonborn DLC installed to acquire this weapon. So what we'll need to do is come to Raven Rock on, of course, Solstheim. Once we get here, just head out of the southern gate and follow the pathway. Keep running all the way down to Old Atias Farm. We'll know we are here because we'll see Captain Veleth fighting three Ash Spawns. Lend him a big strong hand and crush those scummy enemies. Once we kill them, speak to Captain Veleth. After doing so, we'll need to find the note on one of the Ash Spawns. Raven Rock Stronghold. My calls for the unconditional surrender of your forces and an immediate cessation of all hostiles have been ignored numerous times. I therefore have no choice but to assume your purpose on Solstheim is hostile, and to treat Raven Rock Stronghold as an enemy of the Empire. I warn you, any attempt to breach Fort Frostmoth will be met with an equal level of aggression. I will do everything in my power to wipe you and your forces off the face of Tamriel. There will be no further communications between us. General Falx Karius, Garrison Commander, Fort Frostmoth. Remember this guy from Blood Moon? He's back. We'll have to grab the note, take it to the cap, and he'll give us one simple yet badass task. Take out General Falx Karius. And to do this, we'll need to head west from Atius Farm to the ruins of Fort Frostmoth. Anyone who played Morrowind's Blood Moon expansion will remember it like this. It's sad to see it in a ruined state. Nonetheless, once here, fight your way through the ash spawn and enter the castle. Once inside, we'll need to head downstairs into this room filled with coffins. In the middle of the room, there is a knapsack. We'll have to open it and get the key from within. It's required to gain access to General Falx Carius, as we can see with this door. He is marked with a quest marker, so finding him will be no trouble at all. And fighting him is no real challenge, although he will be accompanied by several Ash Spawns, and he'll also be swinging the mighty Champion's Cudgel at your head. But once he has been taken out, loot that boy's corpse and take the Champion's Cudgel. Feel free to complete the quest, but as far as this video goes, now that we have it, let's look at it. The Champion's Cudgel, it has a base damage of 24, a swing speed of 0.6, which leaves us with a base DPS of 14.4. It has a reach of 1.3, a weight of 27, a value of 1767. Traditionally, it cannot be upgraded, but I'll talk about that in a second. And it's enchantment. It has a 50% chance for fire, frost, and slash or shock to deal 25 points of damage. Now in terms of base damage, it does the same base damage as a glass warhammer, although it is actually a lighter weapon, believe it or not, already making it an excellent choice. But back to the upgrading, although it cannot be upgraded normally, this has been fixed with a Skyrim unofficial patch, which will enable the champion's cudgel to be upgraded with steel smithing perk and with a steel ingot. However, in Skyrim Special Edition, I needed the Arcane Smithing perk, so it could have been fixed with Skyrim Special Edition or changed in the Skyrim Special Edition unofficial patch. Regardless of Special Edition or unofficial patch, most of you should be able to upgrade the Champion's Cudgel. So now let's talk about its enchantment. For each element, its enchantment has a 50% chance to deal 25 points of shock damage, frost damage, and or fire damage. Just to make it clear, each element has a 50% chance to trigger with each hit. So with each hit, none could trigger, one could trigger, two could trigger, or all three could trigger. This is known as Chaos Damage, and the Champion's Cudgel is the only guaranteed weapon in the game to possess it. It can also be disenchanted, however I would highly advise you do not do this. 
as while it is the only guaranteed weapon in the game to have chaos damage enchantment, other randomized weapons have a chance of spawning with the same enchantment. The positive side of this is that you don't have to disenchant the champion's cudgel in order to learn the chaos damage enchantment, but instead can disenchant a more common, non-unique weapon. The champion's cudgel is also the only imperial-themed two-handed weapon in the game. In fact, it is the only imperial-themed weapon that isn't a sword and shield making it not only a perfect choice for a Centurion, but for anyone looking for a crushing Imperial playstyle. Physically, the Champion's Cudgel features Imperial symbols on the side of a huge block-like head. One of the ends of the head is blunt and cleated for smashing, crushing and pulverizing, while the other end is curved and pointed, like a pickaxe for impaling like Vlad. On top of the head is also a small spiked crown. Below the head, the shaft is made of wood at the top of which is a section wrapped in crimson cloth, fastened by two leather strips granting a better grip on the weapon. About an inch down after that, there is a steel band and the rest of the handle is wooded, with a steel pommel on the bottom. The whole weapon is tinged with a prominent purple glowing effect, indicating an enchantment that affects magicka or something even more ethereal. Now provided you are able to upgrade the champion's cudgel, all in all, it's an absolute beast of a weapon, with a purely offensive enchantment, making it very hard to be bested in the two-handed weapons department. A wise choice for any wishing to play a brutal warrior build, and a must-have for any wishing to play a beastly imperial build, such as the Centurion. Hitting enemies with this will leave them as a pile of jellified half-digested cow food. A pile of cud gel. A crushing blow to the pun community. And just on a side note, I think every girl in my town's hit me with this, because they all have a crush on me. <laughs> There we have it, ladies and gents, the Champion's Cudgel. I hope this video helped you out. Be sure to check out the Centurion build over at Fudge Muppet. Link can be found in the description. Individual links to my other guides can be found in the description as well, but most importantly, a link to my Twitter page is also lurking down there. Be sure to follow me to guarantee you are notified when I upload a new video, or you can click the bell icon next to the subscribe button right here on YouTube. Please consider supporting the channel by liking, sharing, commenting, and of course, subscribing. If you're up for it, check out the playlist on screen. Thanks for watching. Thank you for supporting the channel. It means the world. And I'll see you very shortly in the next video. I'll see you there in a second. Thank you.